hello and welcome to a new series here on the channel. Unturned Survival is here. I've been wanting to do this for so long. I did think of doing it solo or single player, but then I thought it was going to be boring in the long run, etc. So I decided to find a server that I really liked. And this one I really like. You should definitely go check the servers out. Frushington Normal Survival 1 is the one I will be playing on. You can see the... Um, their website down here, Frushington.net. Go check them out. Pretty cool. Um, I literally joined the server yesterday and I figured out that it was going to be a wipe pretty soon. And the server has been wiped for like an hour or an hour and a half. Um, so yeah, we're going to start a new series on here. As you can see, the server is pretty full. Um, hopefully I will be able to get on. <laughs> but um, yeah, new series. I hope you are happy about it. And I also hope that you are excited. If you are, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But anyways, let's get into it. All right, we are in game. Hello, and there's a guy over there. Run. <laughs> As you can see, I have nothing on me at all. I just spawned in, finally got in. The server is absolutely full. I had to wait in a queue to get in, but finally I got in. Hopefully, oh, I still have some of my experience. That shows that I have been trying to do this. <laughs> but yes, anyways, welcome new series i'm so excited about this series i hope you are too um so yeah on survival basically this server is completely vanilla no mods no nothing except for vanilla and of course it's multiplayer i do have in-game communica commun communication on so if i hold down my alt i can talk to other people um they can and they can talk to me in game so yeah that is pretty cool as well um, okay, there's a fire zombie and a normal zombie there. If you don't know what Unturned is, basically it is a zombie survival game and it is really cool. Um, and Frushington has a lot of servers, or I shouldn't say a lot, a lot, but they do have quite a few pretty good servers and there's absolutely nothing here except for the seed. Um, that are pretty that are pretty cool. This is the Russia map and but they have other servers with other maps as well. Also with some different game modes. So like this is just normal mode. Um, but there are other modes where the loot for example will always be at a hundred percent durability. So that is pretty cool as well. So like if I see this you can see it that it's the health of it is at 42%. But on the high loot server, everything should be at 100%. So that's the difference there. Just gonna smack the zombie in the head a couple of times. So mainly in this starting stage, I'm looking for stuff like clothes and civilian weapons like that to help me in my task. Now I am hoping to be able to get a base up and running. Maybe not this episode, but at least get stuff ready so I can actually start making it. Um, and look at that, we already got some civilian ammo. Not bad. All right. Um, looks like this place has already been looted, but we got some food. Any food below 50% is pretty much like an eh, unless you absolutely have to, because it will increase your toxicity, which will, um, if it gets, I believe, it closed on its own. If it gets below 50%, actually I do want to get all the stuff. If it gets below 50%, it'll start dropping on its own. And when it reaches zero, you will start to die. So that's not good. I thought I saw something here, but apparently not. So currently we don't have much. I'm just gonna throw that. Did I just see something fall away here? I did indeed. Power count magazine. It's actually a pretty good one. Since we are at a farm. Gotta take it. Oh no, full moon. Good way. When it's full moon, the zombies get a lot stronger. So I do not want to be anywhere close to that. It seems like a fire down there. Could go take a look if I wish, but I'm not too happy about it because I've had plenty of player interactions and they are not the best. Guess we'll get behind the tree here and look. Also, I gotta make it or get a good place to make a um get a get a good place to make a base 
a big base, like not a not a hut, but a base, actual base. Um, for that, I would really like to find a chainsaw or at least an axe, so I can chop some trees down. The best thing to build with, I believe, is iron or metal, brick and pine wood. The other stuff below that, I'm not sure where brick is. Um, there's a fire and a bedroll down there, probably taken. Vehicles are probably taken. This at this point, at one point, I got driven over, <laughs> so that was painful. Um, yeah. And other cars I've seen missing tires while being locked, so that's of course also just great, right? So yeah, though it's a curve, you start below all this, you fight your way up, you keep dying, and then eventually you'll start getting up there. That's how things go. Now even though it's full moon, I still need to do looting. So I'm gonna check this farm out. Hopefully I will... Yeah. I'm not trusting too much this crossbow to be able to work too much for me. But, um, hope for the best. I do see some stuff here. Looks like someone maybe took damage here or had a battle. Actually, I think that's just a grass stage. <laughs> Thought that was blood, but apparently, no. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, the zombie has red eyes. Not great. Okay, missing space here. Yeah, I definitely do not want the top hat. Give me this instead. There we go. Um, I will take this and I'll salvage it, make it into cloth, and then I'll craft a rag which I can use to heal myself if necessary. Now I want to check this shit out, but I'm not sure if there's any zombies inside. Oh, that guy saw me. That guy saw me. That guy saw me. Um, I'm gonna. I can't actually deal with him too much because he's gonna explode and probably make me bleed. Okay, there we go. Okay, I do have some skills remaining and I'm going to use most of them, I believe, on Sneaky Beakies, just so I'm very silent. Um, there we go, quicker healing, blah blah blah. There we go, and also that one, yes, okay. So yes, actually, while I'm reading the chat up there, the server did get wiped, so old base and everything has been removed, also the characters, so that is really cool. Oh, let's move back to this position. Um, which is one of the reasons why I chose to also record on here, because I was like, oh, if it's a wipe, then it's a new start for everybody, and I have a better chance of being a part of something, and this range is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. You're a tough one, aren't you? With your red eye. He has a gun, and I'm out. I'm out. I saw he had a gun, probably a Hawkhound or a Schofield. I didn't actually hear the bullet fire, but I'm out. I do believe there's another farm over there. But yeah, is that a player around there? No, that's just a tree. I'm just gonna keep going here. I'm hoping this episode will be around 20 minutes or so. You'll probably mostly see me looting and stuff. So yeah, I'm really hoping to get an axe actually. Really hoping. Um, yeah. That's a guy, isn't it? That's a guy. Okay, he's waving. He's friendly. He's friendly. Okay. Hey, man. All right. So he's he's good. See, not not all players are evil like this guy. Let's see. Is there anything I can give him? Not not really, actually. Um. I'll give him the Hawkhound mech. Maybe he can use it, I'm not sure. Alright. No problem. Alright, I'm just gonna continue, I think. Maybe he's gonna follow me, I don't know. I don't know if I have a chart. I don't have a chart, I don't know if he has. But, um... I'm just gonna go in this direction, and... Well, if he's there, he's there. If not, well... Seems like he's heading off. 
Anyways, as you can see, not all players are bad. So he might that might be the guy that actually shot the zombie. So not that's not too bad. Um that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna go in this direction. Don't mind going in that direction where he went. He seems cool. Uh, hold on, we got some buildings over there. I think that's the. Uh, eh? That might actually be a town. Yeah, that's a town. That's a small town. Okay. Um, I will be going to this town. I don't know if he will too. Maybe, maybe not. That's a runner there to my right. Yeah, this is actually the worst idea ever because these guys are hard to kill as it is there we go but yeah normally from now on when i see players i just kill them because i don't want to give them a chance to hurt me one bit whoa okay that guy saw me too these guys are really strong what I probably should be doing is heading in... Oh no! No! <laughs> I died. Hopefully I'll respawn at a better location. You know what, I think I'm back to where I started. Anyways. As you can see, I'll probably be able to get back there. Anyways. Um, I think I'll cut out, be back when I get my stuff back. As you can see, it is pretty, pretty tough to survive. I suggest not going out looting when it's full moon, when you start out like this. There's another guy down there. But, um, yeah. It's pretty tough. There's a farm, so that is basically that direction. So I think I'll cut out and be back when I get my stuff back. If it's still there, that is... Okay, we have gunshots, we have gunshots over here. It's night time, so I can't see anything. Just gonna move in this direction anyways. Hopefully cross over and just be able to get to the bridge. I'm guessing it was at the farm and hopefully... He won't be coming this way. Hopefully my stuff will still be there. I didn't record the gunshots, but yeah, that was definitely at the farm, I think. I don't think they were directed at me, because those were pistol shots. I believe that was the 1911 gun, which I think previously was named the Colt, but I'm not sure. But yes, I died up here. I think, guessing my stuff might still be there. Maybe. I'm not sure. It was right off this road anyways. If I do get my stuff back, I think I'll cut it here as the first episode. I've been trying this for long enough. <laughs> also, it is really crazy right now because there are 24 people online. Um, hopefully looting will go a bit better when less people are online, I think, because it's, it's close to the weekend and it's evening here where I live. And I live in the EU, and the server is a EU server, so that kind of, I guess, explains it, and also for the wipe. Okay, it died just over here. I do have a chainsaw with me, so if there's a zombie, I'll chain them. <laughs> yes, that's my stuff. There is my stuff. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. We're back in action. I'll take this, and I'll take this as a secondary. I'll just drop that, you know. Okay. I won't be going in there. It's way too dangerous. I think I'm gonna go up here in the in the trees. Call it an episode for now, until either the moon... Um, until it becomes day, or definitely until less players are online. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Actually, you know what? I don't know where I am, other than close to the border. I might cut down a few trees and make a little hut for me to stay in. Because this could be a pretty good place for a base on those cliffs. I don't know how close this is to the map border, but I think 
Alright, what's in the farm again? I think it's the town. I think two are fighting it out. I'm not interested. But yeah, I wanna definitely <laughs> in the town. I, I even saw the, the muscle. Um, the muscle flash. But yeah, right up here could be good. Like right here, high ground. Close to the border, I think. I think I've got to cut down a few trees here. And get a little place together. So I'll just start it like right here. So go into house here. Go down to the bottom. Get a floor. Get a... Two pillars. And get another pillar. So just start it like right here, literally. Like this. That. It's basically gonna be a one a one by one by one. And then we will be able to expand it. There we go. That's another pillar. That's another pillar. And then we just need the walls. I'm happy I got this chainsaw from the other farm that was close to me, actually. There we go. I do not have a saw on me, so I can't turn them into planks and make a... A, um... A thing to keep my... What's it called? Crate. Um... I will need a roof. And... That'll be a pillar or two. Give me this. Boom. Boom. Uh, there we go. Now I just need a doorway. And a door, of course. This is pine. I believe the best wood to build with. There we go. Just need a few walls now. Three, in fact. So if I do see them, where is it? There we go. One two three and then a doorway yes okay get this tree here get this tree a pine door ain't gonna do much anyone can open it but for right now i don't have any metal to actually um make something better just want something to start with so I'm tired of scrolling the mouse wheel. Pine doorway. Yes. And then I need the actual door. I don't know where to find that, to be honest. Um, maybe you do need metal for that. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's get this off for now. Let's place the walls down and the door frame. And we should be good. And boom. Let's just get this. Perfect. Not the best, but I can certainly do. Now I just need a door, which I'm not sure how to build, actually. We might need scrap metal for that. But if nothing else, I know something that might even be better than a pine door. Oh, really? One lock. Um, because you can make... Now you can make, um, what is it called? I think maybe I need the sticks as well. Where is it? Let's make the plank. And we should be able to make some fortifications. There we go. Barricade. Yes, I thought so. We need, do need scrap metal for that. A barricade. Yeah, that should be pretty easy to make. We can't turn anything into scrap metal, so... I do believe that we just have to make a barricade. So I need 12, 14 sticks in total. I think I got some sticks over here. I'm being shot. No, 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 no. I'm friendly, I'm friendly, I'm friendly, friendly. Oh dear. 